Good day, Internet. Welcome to another Mr. Thane channel video. This video is on the top five things I wish all my students knew before the first day of kindergarten. Number five, shoe tying. Tying your shoes can be very difficult for a five or six year old. I understand the urge to just tie them for them, send them on their way, and it's easier, right? It's just easier. But imagine this. One child needs a shoe tie. It's the middle of the day. I'm teaching math. No big deal. I'll tie their shoe for them. Okay, now imagine this. 15 students needing their shoes tied. Now, I'll tell you, there's a strange phenomenon that happens when I tie one shoe. All of a sudden, all the shoes need tied. Even ones I swear up and down were double knotted. Somehow they magically need tied. They need my attention. So, if your child cannot tie their shoes before day one, no big deal. Please send them with Velcro shoes, slip-on shoes. That is a great alternative. So, shoe tying coming in at number one. Uh, number five, sorry. Number four, knowing how to count. It would be great if your child could come into kindergarten being able to count objects up to five and to orally count up to ten. The reason for that is counting is the foundation for the whole year of mathematics. If they know those two things, counting objects to five, so setting some objects in front of them and having them count up to five, you can put them in a circle, a line, a rectangle, and orally counting up to ten they'll all be off to a great start. Now, knowing the actual symbols for the numbers is also very important, but not crucial for day one. So just focus on helping them learn how to count. Number three, know how to write and recognize their name. Seems very simple, but it's very important for two reasons. Reason number one is there's a lot of times at the beginning of the year where they're either gonna have to write their name on a lot of things or they're gonna have to be able to recognize their name on a lot of things. It just makes it a lot easier if they already can do that. The second reason why it's so important is for anxiety. Your child may or may not already be coming in with quite a bit of anxiety on the first day of school, not knowing what to expect, not knowing their teacher. If they look around and see all their classmates writing their name, reading their name, they may have confidence issues. So. Work with them on writing their name, but most importantly, work with them on recognizing their name. They should be able to see their name in print and know that that's their name. Number two of the five things that all students should know before kindergarten is, very important, following directions. So before the first day of school, it's important to sit your child down and let them know the expectations for school. Why are they there? What's it for? Well, it's to learn. and. The conversation that you should have is how it's important to follow directions and do the right thing at school. Um, there's a lot of work in kindergarten. It's not just playing all day. It's not just painting all day. There's a lot of work. By the end of the year, your child will know how to read, write, add, subtract, and think critically about the world that they live in. So that's a lot of work. They need to be willing to face adversity, and maybe do some things that they might not want to do. Um, I, make a promise, I make a promise each year to all my parents, and here's the promise. I promise that if you bring your child every day on time, and they're willing to do the work that they need to do, that your child will be at or above grade level by the end of the year. And I'm sure any teacher across the country would agree with that statement, that if you bring your child to school every day on time, and they are willing to do the work necessary, they'll be on track. So following directions is very important part of that. And the number one thing, number one most important thing that I wish all my students knew before day one of kindergarten is knowing that failure is part of the learning process. We learn by failing. We learn by failing and trying again a different way. I don't want my students to feel like they can't take risks. I want them to get the wrong answers and that's okay. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. It's a Michael Jordan quote. Now, Maybe you can sit down and talk to your child about a time where you've faced adversity, where, you've, where you have failed and got back up again and persevered. Let them know that it's okay to have a wrong answer. It's not always about the end product. It's about the process. How did we get there? The learning process involves failure. It's okay to fail. 
So there you have it, internet. That's the top five things I wish all my students knew before the first day of kindergarten. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, including daily vlogs, weekly vlogs, and teaching tips and strategies for parents and teachers, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. You can find me on Facebook or Twitter or email. I'll, I will go ahead and link those in the description below. Have a great day.